Well, you know, it's been a while since we've been in our circle drive area, which is just on the north side of our garden. And the trees that we've planted are doing quite well, especially the one we planted back in the spring in honor of the troops with the Persian War. And this is the uh, purple rain birch tree that we planted. And again, we're having to watch it with our stake. But other than that, it's got a good set of foliage. The color's a purplish cast, and it's really doing well. And we'll just need to make sure it's staked for a couple of years till it gets some size in that trunk for us. And you're probably noticing we're doing a lot of maintenance around the trees. And one of the things that we're doing this summer is trying to prune out some of our sucker growth that's showing up during the summer. And it's not a problem at all to really go in and prune some of these suckers during the summer because you want to keep them from getting any size on them. And again, you do that at the branch collar and just make those cuts and do that throughout the summer as long as you see those suckers coming on because you don't want them to take any of the growth away or size up on you unless you've got a real small tree that you've just planted and it's a good idea to leave them on so it will help uh, cause the circumference of the tree to increase. But trees that are pretty much mature are reaching that point again. Keep those suckers away so they don't compete. And another thing that we're doing as well with competition is putting on some mulch. And this is just, again, some uh, chips that have come from a tree service company where they've chipped up some branches, that kind of thing. We got it free and pretty accessible in your area too. And we're killing out the grass along here so we don't have any competition. And the main thing is to keep the lawnmower and the weed eater away. But we're putting this mulch on and then we're just gonna pull it out a little bit and make it about three inches thick and we'll have a nice area about three or four feet in diameter that will keep mulched out, and it's real important that you do that, especially for the summer. Now, we kill the area out with glyphosate, and glyphosate is a herbicide that you're probably pretty familiar with, but the US EPA and World Health Organization recently reported after extensive testing that glyphosate is less acutely toxic than table salt or baking soda and that it shows no significant adverse environmental or health effects. Now that's good news, and you're probably wondering, well, what is glyphosate? Well, you're more familiar with glyphosate probably in these products called Ortho Cleanup or Roundup. And the best way to find out if glyphosate is the active ingredient is to look on the label under active ingredient. And again, it's a herbicide that's non-selective. That means it kills anything that you put it on. And the best way to use it is to make sure the grass or the weeds are actively growing. Spray it on, uh, make sure you wait and have a lot of patience because it may take seven to 10, even two to three weeks before it ever shows up and starts to yellow. The nice thing about glyphosate again is it doesn't sterilize the soil. It moves through the entire plant, kills the root system, but the soil is not sterilized so you can come back and replant if you need to. Now we're using it as edging around trees and our pine trees, we're gonna combine the trees together with some more mulch, and we've spot treated some weeds in our grass. So it's really a nice thing to use, but again, on plants that are woodier, just remember it may take more than one application because they'll start to yellow and then put out another flush of growth. So it may take a while, especially on the woodier plants, but glyphosate is really a good product. Uh, again, it's uh, got a great bill of health, but remember, it's still a pesticide, and that means you need to use protective clothing, read the label, and follow those directions.